Hey guys, Protoss Dude here with another StarCraft 2 replay for Team Plasma. This is going to be a 1 versus 2 of Sean the, as the blue Terran with his partner Sneaky Elephant as the green Terran facing against me as the yellow Protoss. Now anyways, this is a fun this is just a game completely for fun. Both Sean and Sneaky Elephant are bronze bronze players at this point. And I think this was back in season one, so I was somewhere either between platinum or diamond, I believe. And to get this game started, I'm just gonna keep fast forwarding it through because it is quite a noobish game between all of us. And it is going to be since it is Protoss versus t two Terrons, they could probably kill me off very fast, so I have to be careful completely. Both their supply depots are now underway, and they should be bi building their barracks very soon. As for me, I have my gateway already built, and it looks like Sean just keeps pumping out the SCVs. Looks like nothing but a standard build. Both of them building their barracks on time. I have two gateways building, so I was pretty much thinking of just going in there before they supply block, uh, before they blocked off with their barracks and supply depots with a few zealots and taking them down. But this is pretty much impossible for me. I already see that I am unable to do that and my probe actually is able to get in I guess he wanted to take me down so I wouldn't do any damage to his supply depot or something I don't know why he would do that since he could be getting marines right now my probe is not able to get through and it is stuck there sneaky elephant also having marines being built as well and he actually has two two refineries being built so we might be being be seeing text from him later on I have three zealots so f as for right now, my unit construction is better than theirs, but with all the marines put together, they can kill me at this moment if they wanted to. I stopped pumping out zealots, have my cybernetics core up, and warp gates will be researching. Stalker is underway, and it has frozen for a bit for some reason. That's kind of weird. I have one probe running through here. It just stops right there planning to do a sort of risky move you'll see later most likely but I'm going to be doing something very risky especially against two Terrons uh, Ghost Academy building for Sneaky Elephant so we will see Ghost Supply Cap for Sean and I think Supply Cap for Andrew as well I, I think no it looks like he's getting his uh, tech lab started up and his looks like he's building his second barracks finally both of them are actually have their engineering bays now, so they will most likely be putting missile turrets up, like you see that shadow right there. Missile turret coming up from Sean very soon. He really has stopped using SCV production, which I find very strange to, especially for a Terran player. And it looks like he's doing nothing but getting Marines and Marauders out. Completely standard build for Terran. And I have my robotics facility. Nothing too much going on here. Pylon will be be placed down over here. I have my stalkers going to break down the supply depot and using the zealot for vision. And now since that's gone, I just I'm able to break it down. I don't do that for there's no real reason for me to do that except for making them know that I have units just in case they go and attack on me. And they, it looks like they have missile turrets up, and even a sensor tower is down for Sneaky Elephant. My Twilight Council building here in the back, so if they scanned me, they would not be able to see me what's going on. I'm able to see what's going on for them, however, because of my observer. And I will be getting my DT shrine up right now, even knowing that they have these missile turrets up, and even the sensor towers. I have my little observer going over towards Andrew's bit towards Sneaky Elephant's base as well. It looks like he has no ghosts, uh, even though he has the ghost cami and the research for invisibility for them. I'm able to see that he, they have missile turrets and they are prepared for it. So what I'm about to do is use this war prism and get my DTs out towards Sneaky Elephant's base first before he, they build up even more. I have a small army right now at my base. It won't be able to defend what Sh Sean has over here, but should be uh, good enough to make a small deterrent. My DTs are now spawned in towards Sneaky Elephant's base, 
and I will start start by taking down these missile surge first. We should be able to about take them down three shots like you just saw. So as soon as I take those down, the Marines will not be able to do anything. I gotta take down this SCV with that missile turret building up real fast. Sean tries to scan, but no luck is done as those Marines have not even done, have only taken out the shield of only one of my DTs. Two scans now, and Sean is out of energy for any more scans. It's all up to Sneaky Elephant to do everything. I keep going on, taking down the rest of these missile turrets. I even have five DTs inside Sneaky Elephant's base. He could destroy this war prism, but instead tries to hunt down these DTs. They just cannot get me at this time. If you see right now, my DTs are taking down all these missile turrets and all the marines are basically dead. So I have completely conquered Sneaky Elephant with nothing but DTs, even though four, possibly five scans were used on him. It looks like he didn't even use his own scans, which I find very surprising. I mean, I don't blame him completely. He does have a really, really bad computer, but even still, this is pretty, really, really bad. Looks like Sean is now taking the initiative and moving out. I'm gonna be getting some DTs and making them hold their position on this ramp just in case Sean doesn't notice that his army will walk into a uh, nothing but invisible death. My DTs are making complete uh, some quick work out of and uh, out of space. And it looks like Sean's army is now moving up. I could get sentries and fit and make some force fields to buy myself some time, but I find it very impossible for me to even do that, so knowing that they could use scans and he could shoot up, so I just use my DTs and keep them at that ramp. Try to, it looks like Sean is going to use a scan, takes out those DTs right at that spot, and Sneaky Elephant is moving his base towards the gold mineral line. Sean is now moving up to my base, and it looks like I am in complete trouble at this moment. I tried to spawn a, a sentry and use a force field to cut off most of his army from getting to me. But as you see here, it will be a failure. I was not even able to get that force field up in time at all. And it looks like my DTs are not being able to do anything. So I, tr I kind of actually lost track of where they were. They go back into the war prism, heading towards Sean's base now. And they will be making a threat. I have about 2,000 minerals worth of economy. These probes are going to be running away. And my DTs are now in Sean's base, making quick work of these missile surge first, and then taking down these SCVs and the starport just in case he decides to make a raven. Stimpak is also being researched. If that was researched faster, he would have destroyed Sean would have destroyed me. I don't know what he's doing right here. He's just standing at my ramp. He could kill me right at this second. I even have I even make a nexus down here just in case I was to be destroyed to make sure he wouldn't be able to see where I was going to end up building next just to make sure make sure he was caught off guard by that. My DTs make quick work of his of his passengers. I am able to destroy the last of these missile turrets except for these two right here. And so my DTs now go into offensive. I do, however, find out that Sneaky Elephant Space is here, and looks like Sean is now rebuilding his base at his main expansion point. And Sneaky Elephant's main base that has flown all the way from his main point is now getting destroyed. His SCPs are not going to be able to take out the DTs no matter how hard they try. And it looks like that is the last of his forces. He will not be able to make any more SCPs and they are completely dead. My expansion is now almost done, and I was able to main yard some of my drones all the way back to my main ex my main expo. And uh, it looks like my economy is starting to grow back up, starting to get some gas back in. And my DTs are trying to take down all of Khan's units at this moment. Oh, plus, we're just for, a, for a quite a while. And it looks like Sean isn't doing anything whatsoever. If you've noticed th throughout this game, both Sean nor and Sneaky Elephant don't have anything hotkey. They it's been like that since the beginning of the game. 
they could have actually been able to probably stop my DT attack if they just had hot in their command center and use their scans wisely, being able to use their marines. Their advantage, they should have had the advantage here completely. And Sneaky Elephant does nothing but places barracks down over at my base, thinking that he will be able to stop me. I am able to force field Sean's forces from coming up to my base. But, and my second century dies, however. Sadly, this base will be gone. I will not be able to get any of these drones back. Any of these pros back. I'm not quite certain, so I don't know what to say. He is able to take out all of my pros. And this base will be going down. Even without the step pack, he will be able to destroy me. I'm just making sure that he's not able to get anything else from me, from his base. He can't scan or anything. This is pretty much good game. And I have the four gateways back up. This mineral line is saturated. And he does see I do have a fully energized Nixus that's doing absolutely nothing. I don't even know why I they, they were kind of wondering why I placed that there. DTs are finally gone. We were pretty much on Skype this whole time while we were playing. So I could hear all the rage between both of them getting angry. Finally, my units are, my composition, unit composition is strong enough to take out Sean's at this point. And he tries to build at the gold mineral line, but I am able to spot it and I am able to destroy it very fast. Especially since my pro's been here since the beginning of the game. They cannot take the gold mineral lines without even, without me knowing. So Sean has nothing but a few SCVs left. I'm researching charge and ground weapons level 2 at this time, chrono boosting them out, and there's absolutely nothing happening. Sean's building Vikings for some reason, I don't know what the point of those are. But at this moment, looks like my unit composition is big enough to handle Sean's. With 12 zealots and 7 stalkers, it completely outdoes his 13 marines. Tw uh, 20 total if you include sneak elephants and three marauders. The Vikings are there trying to harass my workers, but cannot do that knowing I have stalkers down. So it is a complete failed attempt, and I have my DT just running in there, checking around. I am able to spot that missile turret, however, so I do stay back. And now I get my army in here. Zealots are now are rushing his army, and I'm not pretty much destroying this factory first, just in case he doesn't let, just in case he doesn't it off. I don't want to make any void raids just so I can destroy a flying base off to the side. But I am able to completely dominate the army right now, and there's, there's no way he can win this whatsoever. He had a chance to destroy me in the beginning whenever he attacked my base, but for some reason stalls off and leaves his army at my ramp. I don't know what's up with that. So technically, they could have probably won a long time ago, but they didn't scan me, they didn't scout me whatsoever, and that was the huge failure right there. And I don't know why Sneaky Elephant's even trying to get Reapers at this moment, it seems kind of useless. So pretty much this is just, the next 4 minutes of this is nothing me but me cleaning up the rest of the map from all these buildings around. Sean actually has a base down here, I did not notice this this whole time, thought he was dead this whole game, but that's going to put, put to quick work as soon as my soccer's find it. First taking down all of these, looks like he's going to try taking them down to my base, but that's not going to keep them working out. This stalker does get 5 kills off those reapers, and I do find the base, and it is destroyed, no factory, no barracks, nothing created, and the whole, the whole mineral line is dead. At this point, they quit the game, my second expansion belt, they quit the game, and now they're out playing League of Legends. So, if you got an interesting replay to send me, to send Team Plasma, send it to us now. We could use some more. Uh, I have been working on a few things, but I did not feel like uploading the one with the Grandmaster title, with a Grandmaster and a Master player facing each other. 
because I didn't really think I was good enough at this time, especially knowing it was a 30-minute game, and I did not want to fast-forward through all the glory of it. And this is also the first adaptation of the Weekly Week Sauce, so send me a video. It could be bronze or anything, as long as the video is interesting. Send it to us, and one of our casters will get it. So far, I'm the only one doing anything, so it's kind of... Kind of making me feel like I'm totally solo at this point. So anyways, this is Protoss Dude here with Team Plasma signing out.